Chakma Shalama, Wisdom of Solomon 8. Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily, and sweetly she orders all things. I loved her and sought her out from my youth. I desired to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty, in that she is conversant with Elohim. She magnifies her nobility. Yea, Yahweh of all things himself loved her, for she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of Elohim and a lover of his works. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that works all things? And if prudence work, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. If a man desire much experience, she knows things of old and conjectures aright what is to come. She knows the subtleties of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foresees signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. Therefore, I purposed to take her to me, to live with me, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and grief. For her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young. I shall be found of a quick conceit in judgment and shall be admired in the sight of great men. When I hold my tongue, they shall bide my leisure and when I speak, they shall give good ear unto me. If I talk much, they shall lay their hands upon their mouth. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. I shall set to the people in order and the nations shall be subject unto me. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid when they do but hear of me. I shall be found good among the multitude and valiant in war. After I am come into my house, I will repose myself with her, for her conversation has no bitterness, and to live with her has no sorrow but mirth and joy. Now when I considered these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality, and great pleasure it is to have her friendship, and in, in, rather, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of conference with her, prudence and in talking with her a good report, I went about seeking how to take her to me. For I was a witty child and had a good ruach. Yea, rather, being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except Elohim gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto Yahuwah and besought him, and with my whole heart I said,